Hey everyone, it's Diane. So I am going to do another balloon smash. I have to tell you I've been getting really good results. They are drying well, even though you would think it was a lot of paint on the canvas. Um, but they're not crazing or cracking or any of that. Today, I'm going to use two different size balloons. I'm going to use um, about the same size I normally do. And then I'm also going to use this small balloon and just to see if I can get some results with that. Because this is a 10 by 20. It's, it's long and thin, so we'll see what we can get. Um, first off, let's decide what paints to put on there. So I mixed up a bunch of paints I got recently. We're definitely going to put some of the Lucas Krill Cadmium Orange Light in there. Um, and I have a couple craft paints I want to try. This is Deco Art Metallic Ice Blue. Um, I also have Deco Art Metallic Champagne, or sorry, Folk Art Metallic Champagne. These are Folk Arts, not Deco Art. And this is Deco Art. This is Amethyst, which is a beautiful purple. So I'm going to definitely use those three with the orange. And I'm thinking also going to use one more blue here. Um, this is Phthalo Blue from Soho. So that's what I'm going to do. You can sit back, watch, and enjoy with me. Since it's the darkest, I'm going to start with the phthalo blue. And I think I'm going to do it a little wider this time um, in regards to where I put my paint. Because the flowers will be all over the canvas. So, and let's do one right here. And if you've seen any of my other balloon smashes, um, you know I like to torch in between to get out any air bubbles. If you haven't seen them, I do suggest you go look at them. They they both, I did two others, and they turned out gorgeous. Um, let's see here. At the end of the week, uh, I plan on putting up a video with everything that's dried um, over the past couple weeks so everyone can see them. Hopefully I'll have some nice daylight to do that in. This is a 10 by 20 canvas, if I haven't said that already. Um, Master of Touch from Hobby Lobby. And I think they're actually on sale this week. So on top of that veil of blue, I'm going to go in with my cadmium orange light hue. I love blue and orange together. I've been using this so much I'm going to have to mix more. Now this is Lucas Krill also from Jerry's Artorama. Um, if you don't live near Jerry's, you can order from them online. I order from them online for convenience mostly and also because they usually have better deals. Okay. So after that, let's go in with the amethyst. This is Deco Art Metallic Amethyst that you can get at Hobby Lobby. You cannot get Deco Art Metallics at um, Michaels, or at least not the Michaels by me. I find that Hobby Lobby has a better selection of metallics. Not to say Michaels doesn't have some, they do, but um, they have lots of them, but they're just not the deco art ones. And sometimes brands don't matter and sometimes they do. So 
So after that, I'm going in, this is Folk Art Ice Blue. I ordered this from Hobby Lobby because my store was out of it. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to torch that because that is completely smooth. And then this is the Folk Art Champagne. These are much more fluid, just the way I mix them. Um, I mix uh, most craft paints one-to-one -one with Floetrol. And just because I want a little more color, I'm going to go in with some light pink on top. All right. Uh, we'll start with the larger balloon, just so I can cover more space. Let me get some air bubbles I see from this angle out. And I also see a hair I need to get out of here. Alright, here we go. Here is my water balloon. This is about how large it is. And I like to hold it like this for me, for my size hand. And let's start here and go here. And then get some of the dark and go there. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. I can tell already. Look at this. That is just gorgeous. And you can press down as hard or as light as you want. Make sure you wipe off in between when you get a lot of paint on there because you want it to come out decently. Let's go down here. Go there. Oh, look at that is beautiful. All those colors, those pastels, love it. I might have to do one in just pastels. This might not be my last balloon smash for a while. I do like how it sells up though. And there is no silicone in any of this. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. And obviously the harder you press down, it'll pick up some of the background on the canvas, and that is completely fine. You're not, you know, you're not at a loss of paint here. I see a couple bubbles, so I'm just going to torch them. love these colors together. Sorry, I know I keep saying that, but it really, I mean, it's just going to be beautiful. I can already tell based on how my other ones have come out. Loving that. Just loving it. Not a bad idea. And I might try it next time. I'm going to put a second canvas here and put the extra paint on that. Actually, let me get a small 8x10 and we'll do that right now. So this 8x10 has no 
paint on the background. I'm um, just going to press this down on it once. And then I'm going to take you out. Oh, you guys can see that. Okay. Uh, so that is real cool. Then you don't really waste any paint at all. Love that. Love, love, love it. Ah, beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to just... Uh, Need to finish one canvas at a time. And then I'm going to wipe off the bottom. You still do have to wipe off the bottom because once the colors start to run together, you don't want that. So, I mean, you do, but not to that extent. Okay, these folk are ice blue and champagne along with that pink are fabulous together. And this amethyst from Deco Art, loving it. Now, clearly I'm taking I'm gonna do the whole canvas on this one. Because it's long and thin. And it's running off the sides, which I want to happen because I think it looks beautiful when it does that. So, I'm going to wipe off my balloon. thought I might need that smaller one for the edges, but I might need it for, the, for this 8x10 I just decided to pick up. This is turning out fabulous. Love it. And again, you can just sort of like get it to go off the sides. I prefer that. I think it looks beautiful that way. I'm going to go back down here a couple more times. Sometimes just moving the paint. Oh, and I'm getting some wonderful webbing in here, some cells. <gasps> this is so gorgeous. My other ones turned out gorgeous, but this is fabulous. Okay. Let me try. There's a little bit I want to bring off the edge up here. And then. And see, now that's a mess. I need to wipe that off. Oh my gosh. Let me see what you can see through this camera. It's very hard to tell, so I'll take it down for a closer look when I'm completely done. But now I am going to go in with that smaller balloon and see if it makes a difference. Let me put this other one to the side. And we're going to grab our little green small balloon. And I'm going to hold it just like that. If you're good at tying off knots, then you know you have a lot of room to play with, which is good. My goodness, I just want to like, and I'm going to, I am actually taking this off the side here. It actually ran down this side. And then I'm going to add more here and wipe off my balloon here. I'm going to use these same colors. Again, it's just fabulous. So I'm looking at this side just to make sure it is covered and trying to decide where I want to pull from because you can't see this maybe from there, but there's some nice webbing in their cells in here and cells. There are cells everywhere. Oh my gosh, and this looks like a bird down here. I'm going to have to get, bring y'all down for a look. All that to say, I'm going to pull from right here and go down the side. Mostly because I don't, there's so many 
things I like on the top of this canvas that I do not want to ruin it. <laughs> I'm so happy with the way it is. I don't want to change a thing. You know, just when I think, oh, I'll do one more balloon smash because they're fun and it turns out good, I find that I like things even more. All right, so I'm, I'm looking to see if there's a spot that I'm willing to take from, and I don't think there is. So I do need more coverage on this 8x10 though, so I gotta take from somewhere. You would think I'd wanna take from here, but I don't because there's nice webbing there. I might just have to do it. Well, there, see, I'll save the webbing. And then make sure I get all uh, coverage on here. Oh no, didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, it's fine. See, you gotta be careful with your area. If you learn nothing else from this. So I'm just putting some paint down the side here. I don't care so much about these sides on this little 8x10. But this is also looking really good. Um, set that down. I'm getting webbing there too. And cells. Which is amazing to me because I have no silicone in this. And you know, you can get cells just from using Floetrol in your paints. But for some reason, and it's probably because of the repetitive motion of pulling the paint, it's probably what it truly is. So there's what I got. Oh, I'm glad that brought up some of that orange and dark color. I love that. And I'm just going to splat that in the middle. Right there. And then I'm going to go down the sides here. Just because this has no paint on it. I usually have 8x10s just for like purposes like this, you know, it's not something I would ever sell or do a video on, but that looks great. Alright, let me put you on pause a moment and I'll take you down for a look. In the meanwhile, let me just zoom in. This is just, I mean, fabulous. I will tell you the colors one more time if you want to, if you have them and want to use them or want to get them because this is the prettiest piece I believe I've done yet. So the first thing I put on the bottom was the Soho Phalo Blue. Then I put the Lucas Krill Cadmium uh, Orange Light. Um... Then I put the uh, Deco Art Metallic Amethyst. I put the Folk Art Ice Blue. The Folk Art Champagne, both metallics. And then I put just a dab of pink. And this is just like a generic craft paint pink in there on top. And, oh my God, it's gorgeous. All right. I'm going to put you on pause. I'll be right back. Hey everyone, it's Diane. So this, I just wanted to get in the daylight, is the uh, balloon smash I just did. I did a few hours ago um, before it was actually light out. And it is just beautiful, so I just wanted to... Um, it's actually on a tray right now on some parchment paper. But I just wanted to give you a look um, at some of the colors in cells. I'm just trying to get my camera to autofocus. But it is my most beautiful one yet. This is just gorgeous. The lacing and the cells and the colors. Oh my god, it's beautiful. 
And um, down here is my little bird. Let me see if I can move slowly because I don't want any of you to get sick. And I'll try and turn this around. But on the end down here, see, my, see that little guy with the blue feathers? And then the white, he looks like a bird. Just freaking beautiful. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can see more beautiful artwork. Click the bell so you'll be notified of my upcoming videos. And please smash that like button. Hope you have a great day.